Tucker's Friendly Service Roadhouse, conveniently located oh, right, right off Highway 57, where we put the honk <laughs> in Honky Tonk. Oh, yeah. Tonight, a one-night reunion concert only of the band that made Clint Colby a star. Let's hear it for the Mount Rangers! Woo! Flies. And there ain't much 
overexcitement, but sit around and count your eyes. One, two, so much fun of him, he dropped out of school after the sixth grade. But Janine Kate never made fun of him. That made her his friend for life. Hey, Clint! Clint! I'm up here. Hey, your mama's been calling you to supper. I know. Clint wrote about those days in a real pretty song. What you doing way up here Stinging. on the mountain? What you thinking about? Almost every night, I sit on Shiloh Ridge. Stare up at the never-ending storm Ain't never seen no diamonds But on a night like this one I think I know how beautiful they are Them far off lines are calling me Seems all my life Sometimes I think about Dad being off in the big city somewhere and how he's going to come back and take me and Mama with him. You ever been to the big city? You mean like Danville? No, I heard that. Look down in the valley, see the distant spark like bits of broken moon on the ground. I think of all the stories behind those shining just waiting to be there. Them far off eyes are calling me. Seems all my life I see them grow. Them far off eyes are calling me. I've got to go. I've got to go. 
Things will be different for me down there. And you'll come too, won't you? Clint, I love it here. I don't ever want to leave, not ever. But you're my best friend, Jenny Kate, and you're special, and I, I can't do it without you. I want what's down there. Lynn, I can't go. You know I need to help my daddy in his store. I just can't go. When I was ten, my mom came home. I find my daddy's dresser was all clean. And I stared out in the nighttime. Thought I saw his tail lights and I watched and watched and watched till they finally disappeared. Them far off lights are calling me to come and find what's down. Papa, we're 
Baptist Church over to Chester. He was the sorriest looking kid I'd ever seen. Hey, uh, this song I wrote could really use a banjo backup. We win, we split the prize. Look, I don't know your song, and I don't read written down music. They can write down music. Uh, come on outside, we got ten minutes. Ten minutes? Well, it only took me five to write it. <laughs> well, the audience couldn't take their eyes off Clint. On stage, all that scrawniness, it turned to magic. Well, we won first prize, and we split it, too. Clint took the Old Testament, I took the New. <laughs> A few months later, he come looking for me, saying uh, he was going to put together a band. What about the missus and the girls back home? Well, it seems to me you can't afford to stay. What about home cooking? You'll be cooking with me. Sending home the bacon. as much as I got shanghaied by his mama. You! Be at Alton Falls Lodge noon tomorrow to play in Clint Colby's band. Do I know you? Sonny Colby, mother of Clint Colby, daughter of the Confederacy, captain of the Women's Auxiliary Fire Department. Now you know. Noon tomorrow. Be there. Get out. Follow! 
focused only on one thing, his music. Nothing took his mind from that. Now, that's not entirely true. There was one big exception. A little town called Hanover. We can let some things pass him by. No, no, no. It's the center of our whole story. Daryl, we do not need that. Well, I believe we certainly do. <laughs> Perfect stranger sitting there. We were playing over to Tink's bar, and uh, she was sitting down close to the stage. So pretty. How I'm trying not to stay. I've been here and 
State Farm office on Main Street telling the beaver sent you. <laughs> Ain't it a shame when cousins marry? <laughs> but the next day was Saturday and the office would be closed. Oh man, I guess we best be getting some sleep before moving on. Oh man, you gotta admire old Matt. Six of us in one room again. He's asleep before I got my boots off. Well, he still got his boots on. I guess maybe that's a secret. Jenny Kate? Yeah? You ever been with a man? Daryl, how many drinks you have after the show? None. Or seven. <laughs> yeah. Hey! You ever wonder what happens every time what happens when Polly finds another filly? No. I do. I don't it even, gets to me. I don't even know how it works. I do. I just don't know how to feel. You're sweet, Daryl. I'm not sweet. I'm desperate. <laughs> I know I'm not going to the high I'm getting. I just want you to know that I... special too. Uh. Well, Clint, he worked hard at keeping his band together, but we'd had our share of adventure, and home was looking better every single day. Only a miracle was going to keep us out there. Okay, who ordered the bologna soup cream? Well, it looks like somebody already had it.
Ooh, they're so hot, so even up the whole dark kitchen. How's about the gravy? Man, they make me crazy, baby, I love your biscuits. <laughs> Fruit of 
Fisher had a brother-in-law who was the owner of Mountaintop Records. Yeah, Sonny cornered him in a control booth. <laughs> well, you know what? She got us a recording contract. Yeah, but the recording studio was located in an abandoned cotton warehouse over to Alistair. Ran right alongside the main freight train line. Woo! Woo! Yeah, 40, 50 trains later, we had our record, which Clint called Runaway Train. We got back to Hanover for the third time on the rainiest afternoon you'd ever want to see. Clint was driving so slowly down Main Street. Yep, there was Alice Ann sitting in the big uh, window of that insurance office, pretty as an angel. Clint went to pay a friendly call. May I help you? Well, I hope so. Um, Wait a minute. I know you. Oh, you're... Clint. You're Clint! Ah. Colby. You're Clint Colby! Uh, we saw each other eight months ago over at Tinks. My, my band of Mountain Rangers and I were playing there. And you were sitting fourth row in the back against the wall underneath the loose head. I was. I was there with my mama. She took ill that night. We had to leave early. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. Are you here to buy life insurance? In a way. <laughs> uh, see, the Rangers and me, we, we were so struck with how you look that night that uh, well, I wrote a song about you and, and your mama. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be playing it tonight at Tink's, and I was just hoping maybe you could come by. Oh, I would be honored, Mr. Colby. Call me Clint. I'll be there for sure, Clint. Great. <laughs> Bring your mama. All right. Great. She brought her mama and her fiancé. <laughs> Turns out she just got engaged the month before. Yeah, her and her fiancé came up to us after the show to tell us how much they enjoyed that song. And he even tried to hire us to play the wedding. Jenny, why didn't you stop me? Would you have paid me any mind? Of course I would. You're my buddy. I guess I wrote so many love songs I started believing. Well, I believe them. Well, not from now on. My daddy didn't. He always said, don't let nothing that don't matter get in the way of something that does. He never did. No bricky dink town, no crippled kid. From now on, I'm not either. Hit it!
up and we were famous. Runaway Train was a runaway hit. The whole world was about to fall forever in love with Clint Cole. Yeah, everything we'd ever known and ever were was about to change. Dang it, Jenny. What? Heartbreak Hall of Fame. It's about me. It's about us. Damn that Clint Cole. Daryl. Okay. Uh, Ben, hit it. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, why don't we take a little break right here? Um, you go answer the call of nature, and we'll be back in just a few minutes, I hope. Answer the call. You know, one of them just might happen to be yours. <laughs> Not mine. I don't know about you. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Is Daryl okay? Is he okay? I don't know. Is he okay? You okay? I'm okay. He's, He's okay. 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 Long, stone highways are there. Tiny blue lines on a Mexico road map. You need class to find what they take me to tavern where they much about being famous. Yeah, but folks began recognizing us. Mayors came to say howdy. <laughs> People started taking baths before they came to our shows. <laughs> I'm floor in this truck until I run out of legs. I'm telling you I'm stuck in high gear. I'm laying down rubber like a chicken lays eggs. See, seeing you in my review near. Get to them all. They are slippery when wet because they pave with gold But I'm following the same route as them other big stars Who all started in hockey talk bars We got to answer that wonderful question How fast can you spend your first royalty check? <laughs> yeah, I bought a old hazel, a satin and lace negligee And <laughs> it was pretty I bought Emily a brand new mahogany dining room. And I got a brand new car. Yeah, it was a four door with all four doors. <laughs> yes, I'm a honky tonk highway man with no time to stop for some tourist attraction or a bottle of pop. I won't pull in a truck stop. I won't even slow down till I play the last honky tonk. Move over, honk honk, play the last honky tonk. our lives. Yeah, a big time talent manager with a big time ego. You're hired. You're fired. God, I love that. <laughs> Clint, this Carmichael fella seems to think he's my boss. Well, we have to let the experts handle certain things. Expert? That expert wouldn't know one of your songs from a dog food jingle. <laughs> Clint, you're gonna love this. I just sold Baby I Love Your Biscuits to Purina. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long, Sonny. I got myself a new amigo. Though I admit he's like no friend I've ever seen. He's all wrinkled up and tattered. 
did I mention he's green? No, Hello, Mr. It. Money. Why not call me Clint? And how's it all been going for you down at the mint? Hello, Mr. Money. You're my lucky strike. I never met a president I did not like. Hey, I'm gonna make you a star. I'm gonna send you on a 40 city national tour. Hey, man, we're going national. Now, how we going national without going Nashville? The Opry pays 300 a week. I'm talking 10,000 a night. <laughs> they say everyone has their price. Before I met you, I had a few friends. I was as lonesome as a bee without a bud. Now I got more friends than a floozy. I never realized how wonderful I was. Hello, Mr. Money. I'm glad we finally met. I owe you so much, I'll always be in your debt. Hello, Mr. Money. I know you're true blue. Yes, sir, I always figure I can count on you. Woo! Wait! Now, hey. this is what I call a recording studio. Oh! Mars to Earth! Mars to Earth! How's it going down there at the control lab, Daryl? Okie dokie, not a freight train in sight. Woo-hoo! I'm also friends with Freddie Famous and Stephen Stocks and Bonds and Gary Golden Ring. <laughs> and there's my sweetheart, Kathy Cadillac. <laughs> she makes my register. You're famous now. You should just sit back and relax. Take care of yourself. Woo! Mighty big crowd out there. Yeah, 3,220. That's big. Where next? In Little Rock. Weren't we just there? That was a big fork. Hey, you're tired. Girl, I tired. miss Tuckers. <laughs> Maybe I tell you what, why don't you take us back? Why don't we go back to Emily's? And uh, she can fatten us up and we'll sit there on that ridge and watch the clouds roll by. Yeah, you can write uh, that mountain song you've been promising. Mountains. What are mountains? Maybe. Right after this tour. Hey, you promise? Great, boy. Great. Now let's do some real music. No more of this country cutesy stuff. Give us something that'll get us on the billboard charts. Give us something the kids can dance to. You can do that, can't you? No, Mr. Carmichael. Clint is a mountain boy. He writes from his heart, not his wallet. But you wouldn't understand that being so different from him. Clint doesn't do rock and roll, do you, Clint? Hey, the baby, oh, I'm so blue. Did your true love turn on true? This is an emergency. I'm a scrub as goes to me. your chart. I diagnosed a broken heart. You may be lacking valentines. Let me check your vital signs. I got a license to love hanging on my wall. And I'm perfect. That's our manner when I make house calls.
trust me cause I'm wearing white <laughs> Dr. Love wasn't a hit. Carmichael had his big fat hit and we had this awful feeling like something you can't wash off. Our audience has changed something awful too. The girls got so bad about Polly, he had to start hiding in broom club. <laughs> yeah. Scared old Polly straight down the island, right up to the preacher. Well, I always loved them auto parts. <laughs> and Daryl caught the wedding bouquet. <coughs> it's for you, princess. You know what it means when, uh, when you catch the wedding bouquet? I know what you want it to mean. I, I could make you so happy if you just let me. You know something funny? I know you're right. So, uh, what was all that about? Ironic, ain't it? What's that? I caught the wedding bouquet. That's a good song title. <laughs> you wanted to see me, Mr. Carmichael? Miss McCorder, have you ever thought about having your own career separate from the boys? No. The business needs good girl singers, and I'd like to set you up on your own. You know, I never even wanted this career, Mr. Carmichael. I it like just that. sort of happened. That's the something special about you. This band is my family, Mr. Carmichael. It has never been about money. God, I love sincerity. <laughs> we were in Colorado when we first got word about Curtis's daughter, Connie, and she'd taken ill. Yeah, she was gone by the time Curtis got home. Clint captured his pain real nice in a song called You'll Always Be Daddy's Girl. <laughs> real quick, it became our, our number one hit. Sometimes you live in your own tiny chair And I haven't a care in the world Ooh, Memories untold never ever grow old So you'll always be song, Clint. I just, I can't play it. It's a hit, Curtis. People want to hear it. Hey, Clint, buddy, Connie's only been gone a few months, and uh, the song is killing Curtis. It's just a song. It's our profession. It's what we do. And anyway, we're paying honor to Connie. Oh, now, where are you going? Curtis left the band soon after and went home to Emily. It broke our heart. Clint never talked about home much. It was just some place for him to forget. And then one night, just before the show, a ghost showed up. Came out of nowhere. I thought I knew the face, but after all those years... Clint? Dad? I've always loved you, son. I'm here to prove it to you. You live here about? Nah, over by Kansas. I've come to see you. It cost me a week's wages. You look different, Dad. It's been a hard life. But I've always watched you, son, on the TV and in the papers. I'm so proud of you. Why didn't you come sooner? I know I was wrong. But I'm here to prove it to you. I'm, I'm here to make amends. I, I, I'm starting today, if you'll let us stay with you. Us? My wife and kids. I'm remarried, son. There's five of us living in a three-room bungalow, and I, I got a stepson who wants to go to college. Get out. Son. You heard me. I said get out. Clint, Clint, he's your father. 
I don't have a father, Jenny Kate. Well, I know he may not deserve you, but he's your flesh and blood. Yeah, who walked out on me and Mama when I got sick? Well, you can keep on walking. Clint, Clint, that is not you talking. That's not the man who writes beautiful love songs from his heart. From my heart. Don't you know by now those songs don't come from my heart, Jenny? Those songs come from Nat's heart and Curtis's and Paulie's and Mama's, even my buddy Daryl's. Not my heart. When have I ever had love? All your life. Gotta look, my friends, we're as close as we can be. We stick together till we die. Everything we think, we agree, my friends are me, myself, and I. They all understand me, they all answer yes. They all think I'm one swell guy. When it comes to friends, more is less unless it's me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. Other guys have good looks. Other guys have good health. But sooner or later, baby, you sleep with yourself. There's an exit sign on everyone I've known. It's how they tick, tick, tick goodbye. But I feel less songs from her debut album reached the charts. Pretty songs, all of them. Yeah. Jenny wrote the words. Daryl gave the music. And out at the first concert, Paulie and I sent him a bushel of sweet corn. <laughs> yeah, we figured that'd stand out no matter how many flowers they got. Six months after that, Daryl and Jenny got married. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd be writing songs together forever. Yep, I did too. About that time, Clint collapsed in his hotel room. Almost wouldn't even let me take him to the hospital. Don't let the papers know. All right, you use another name. Sure, you can be any name you want. His heart, it was a young man's heart, but it had just never been right. It took two days to stabilize him. Once he got out of the hospital, not only did he start doing concerts again, but he doubled the pace. It's like he had to speed up and burn himself out and just be done with it. Hey, Clint. Hazel's gonna have a baby, and I'm gonna be a daddy just like Curtis. And, uh, well, Hazel needs me, and, uh, that's where I'm headed. But you can't leave, not in the middle of a tour! Yes, sir, I can. People 
They believe in me, Mama. Seems they thought they was in a band. You thought you was in a solo act. But I came on fame, excitement, and a place in the world. That was your dream, honey. Not theirs. Hey, some dreams give meaning and some destroy. Clint, honey, don't be destroyed. I dreamed I'd visit cities and see my name in light bulbs since I was a boy. Yeah, I. But now my name is blazing like neon caught on fire. I'm so happy I could cry.
Arkansas. Never marry a musician. <laughs> Four sold out shows. 4,500 folks for show. All those, uh, all that equipment, all those technicians, mountains of publicity. And yet, something real can happen right there in the middle of it all. Ladies and gentlemen, I never would have even have known how to begin to write a song, or even had the thought to try if I hadn't worked with one of the best. Someone from whom putting life to music came naturally. A friend of my heart. Clint, 
in a little cemetery up on the mountain on a morning so clear and blue that you'd have thought you could see as far as the end hill. Well, folks, I guess that's the story of Clint Colby, and I guess that's the story of us, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been really great, actually, being up here with you guys again tonight. I, I kind of almost... Now, wait a minute. You're not getting out of here until we talk about our next show and the next show and the one after that. What do you say? <laughs> you got a room for Emily and Annie? Why, sure we do. Well, what do you say, Hazel, darling? Let's do it, Sarah. <laughs> How about you, Daryl? Are you with us? I never thought I'd sing another Clint Colby song as long as I live. Well, we never thought they'd work without him. Yeah, never thought we'd work without him. You know, they always work great songs. What the heck, I'm in. All right. All right. All right. I'll go pass up old Calliope. I got it right on back. You, you better, better I sure got Wait a minute. What about me? What about me? <laughs> yeah, Jenny Kate, you don't, you don't need us. You're a star. Come on. I'm just a chow acting girl with big hair and a tour bus. <laughs> this here's all I ever wanted. That is, if you still want me. Of course I do. Shoot. This is better than a Tupperware party. <laughs> well, folks, thanks for coming. It's time to go home and wake up the babysitter. <laughs> hey, you guys, hold on. I got something for you. What is it? This is that song, that mountain song that Clint always promised he'd write to us. Well, he, do that. he gave it to me that last night in the hospital. He wanted me to give it to you guys. It's for us. It's for all of us. Play it, Princess. There's music in this mountain Comes from way down deep From beneath the weary grasses And the loved ones deep in sleep Beneath the hall in my chest, the miners died for coal. Where the earth is hot and boiling is where music has its soul. There is music in this mountain. It's a rare and secret all. It's been
Baby, man, you make me crazy. Baby, I love your baby.